です。Number one, Point de la Parada. On an island where stupendous natural spectacles are almost commonplace, Point de la Parada will still make you lost for words. This is a black granite promontory announcing the northern limit of the Bay of Ayacho, near the end of a stubborn string of rocky apexes that continue offshore to create the Sanguinaires Islands. Number two, Route des Sanguinaires. Pulling out from the south coast of Ayacho is a seaside route that leads to Point de Parada. It incorporates the Corniche Jaxienne, a raised, bending road that hugs the tortuous contours of the rugged coast. It's all about the views, out to the Sanguinaires Islands and over the best beaches in Ayacho, like Plage de Marinella. Number 3. Musée Fesh. Ayacho's Museum of Fine Arts is named after Napoleon's uncle, Joseph Fesh. Who was Archbishop of Lyon? In the early 1800s, he founded this museum by donating his extravagant painting collection, and it constitutes one of the largest sets of Italian Baroque and Renaissance painting anywhere in France. Cosme Tura, Giovanni Bellini, Michelangelo, Veronese. Number four, Maison Bonaparte. Napoleon's birthplace is one of those attractions that is more about the significance of the place rather than what is there. Really, all you need to know is that you're inspecting the home in which an epic maker was born on August 15, 1769. The house has been decorated with Bonaparte family furniture, even if you have to use your imagination to picture what it would have been like in the 18th century. Number five, Salons Napoleonians. At Ayacho's town hall is a richly decorated gallery replete with sculptures, paintings. Medals and engravings connected to Napoleon and donated to the city by the Bonaparte family up to 1936. The hoard of art and memorabilia is so large that it overflows into the Fesh Museum. But the most riveting pieces are in Town Hall. Number six, Plage de Capo di Feno. There are more than 20 beaches in or near Ayacho, mostly lively corners with transparent, smooth waters and white sands. You may feel the urge to break from the crowd, and if so, you can drive the 10 kilometers to the coast just north of Point de la Parada. Plage de Capo di Feno has a more savage beauty, with scrubland and forest, and a sandbar offshore causing breaks for surfers. Number seven, Place Foch. Next to the town hall is an elongated square ringed by impressive old palm trees. There's a familiar face to receive you. Raised on a pedestal, looking along the square to the port, is a marble statue of Napoleon in the guise of a Roman consul, sculpted by the Italian Massimiliano Laboureur. Number eight, Ayacho Cathedral. Back on the trail of Napoleon, Ayacho Cathedral is the church where the emperor was baptized on July 21, 1771. Not only that. But his mother Letizia started going into labor with him while attending the Mass of the Assumption on August 15, 1769. The marble font in which he was baptized is just inside the entrance. Number nine, Tête de Mort. Rise early on a summer morning and beat the heat for a trek above Ayacho, with breathtaking coastal scenes. The trail zigzags up from the Bois de Anglet through the mastic shrub. Cacti and wild olive undergrowth of the fabled Corsican Maquis. After a time, you'll arrive at a sinister-looking granite boulder named the Tête de Mort, Head of Death. Number 10, a cupulata. Turtles and tortoises from five continents live in this sanctuary and research center 20 kilometers northeast of Ayacho. There are 3,000 animals in all, from 170 species. And the Corsican climate and carefully configured tanks and enclosures at the two-hectare park allow them to flourish. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.